Hey, 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 Lori Gemini Tarot here. I'm here to give you your H3 H3 production slash Trisha Paytas slash vlog squad drama tarot reading. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so you may hear some background noises. Um, I do have my boyfriend. We do have pets around the house or whatnot, so don't freak out, okay? Alrighty then. Uh, so how this works is that I just throw a whole bunch of cards down. I tell you what they say. And usually the premonitions usually come true, sometimes within a few weeks, but usually it's a few months later, then everything kind of comes down all at once. Uh, those are how all of my astral, uh, how, uh, not, uh, not only the astrology ones, but mainly my celebrity readings. And just check out all my Jeffree Star ones if you want a reference. They all came true. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Just please note that these are general collective tarot readings. Please don't take whatever I say seriously. I am an old lady that reads tarot cards, okay? Um, I'm not going to be familiar with the Vlog Squad with Trisha Paytas and H3 Podcast because I am out of their age demographic, all right? Uh, so, you know, it's not, it's not my thing. It's not my thing. So, uh, a lot of you guys who are younger, who has been educating me, as I like to call it, uh, on, uh, just things about them and their astrology signs and whatnot. So, uh, so just so you know, okay? Alrighty then. So, these are general collective readings. Make sure you check the sun, moon, and ascending signs for these people. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification button right below so you know when I'm going live and when I'm dropping content. And in the description box is a link to my Instagram channel so you can check out my pricing and you can see when I'm doing personal readings and all that fun jazz. So let's go ahead and start diving into this. So let's go ahead and start throwing cards. Pertains to H3, H3 production, Trisha Paytas, Vlog Squad, drama. So I have the Knight of Pentacles here. I do have the Six of Pentacles reverse. I have the Magician card here. I have the hangman reverse. I have the nine of pentacles, the five of swords, the ace of cups reverse, one more card. You know, I try to do this reading quite a few times. There's always distraction, distractions or mishaps. And I feel like the last two cards were a very big struggle. I feel like some real big gossip or big tea is going to come out of it. The inference card. Okay. <clears throat> so the bottom of the deck, the overall energy I do have for the HGH3 Productions, Trisha Paytas, Vlog Squad. It is going to be the Page of Swords Reverse. This is going to be Libra Gemini energy. This is gossip and tea being spilled, okay? This is somebody spying, somebody getting receipts. Shit is being unloaded. This is somebody being exposed for... This is like a stalker. This is stalker energy. This is also blackmail energy is what I get with this. And it's followed by the justice card reverse Libra energy. And the justice card is like karmic justice. The law is by your side. You know, like Ian Malcolm, like life finds a way. Oh, daddy Goldblum. Oh, daddy Goldblum. Yes, daddy. I met him and that is another story for another time. Uh, but <laughs> this is shit not going your way. This could be a lawsuit, a defamation lawsuit. This could be getting a restraining order. This is a cease and desist. This is fucked up shit. This is somebody fucked up. They got tea. They got some receipts. They did not have the information. And shit's going down. And it's with the law. It's somebody's, it's not in somebody's favor. And I do feel like it's because of 
This could be because of insecurity, deflecting. This is somebody not willing to see the evidence for what it is. And this could be they're just protecting somebody. This could be like, uh, I'm protecting my assets. I'm protecting my goods. Okay. So interesting. So I do have the Knight of Pentacles here. This is going to be Taurus energy, okay? And I believe Trisha Paytas is Taurus. I don't remember, okay? And I'm sure somebody's going to correct me and say, no, it's this person. That's fine. Uh, this is somebody making an offer. This is moving into a positive direction. Now, this is a peace offering because you do see the peace sign. So... This could be somebody that is normally problematic. They're, they cooled their jets a bit, right? And it feels like this person may be trying to mend, mend uh, it's kind of like almost like a my name is Earl kind of way where they're trying to mend their wrongdoings, you know? I'm also seeing somebody really into like 420, you know, that that marriage of one, you know, marriage and culture, you know, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there's some sort of endorsement or marketing ploy or something around that theming or that lifestyle. There's business opportunities. It feels like, all right, now we're starting to take you seriously. And there's some business propositions. There's some offerings. Now, out of all the knights, you want the pentacle because the pentacle is going to be the most reliable. The pentacle may be slow, but it's like the tortoise. Slow and steady wins the race. This person is making some sort of genuine offer, and it feels like... It feels like once this person got like chemically, like got, got the right chemical balance or they're on the right medication, it feels like they're more at peace, more serene with themselves. They have more opportunities now. They're not taking handouts anymore. This is getting like gifts and a handout and this is no more. So somebody's going to be asking for a friendship or some sort of business offer or deal. It feels like somebody's going to be offering. There is going to be some sort of peace offering, whether if they're going to try to bribe with money or some sort of collaboration. Somebody's going to come in and they're going to say, no, we. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm forgetting. I can't believe Twisted Sister, like we're not going to take it is what I heard, you know? It's like a warrior cry where it's like, no, it, it we're not going to be taking breadcrumbs. This could be David from the vlog squad trying to bribe or compensate or... Hey, Suri, thank you. I don't know why the alarm was on, but whatever. Okay. So. There's an offer that's given. It's like an apology. Some sort of business collaboration. But it's like, no, because you got to look at it this way. All right. This person is all rich. And they're just giving this person like crumbs, like crumbs, you know. And it, the offer is going to be declined because it's like, no, we should be getting paid a lot more. They feel like they should be more compensated. The magician card, somebody's striving to the top. This is Sagittarius energy. This person... It's almost as if like they're, they, they can do no wrong. It's almost as if they can do no wrong because now they're the most, for the time being, respected person. 
it feels like. It feels like anything that this person touches, it turns to gold. It also feels like some of these other people who were always like a wallflower, you know, you know, or brought, or, you know, or blocked from the limelight, now they have an opportunity to shine. So it could be certain key players who were once like the front and center or the er, it person. Now there's other people that are going to be the it person. I do see somebody getting some sort of record deal. I'm also seeing somebody like becoming a DJ, also doing voice work. I'm also seeing somebody becoming very artistic, like they're a painter or a fashion designer. The hangman reverse, this is Pisces energy. A choice has been made. Now with the hangman, with a choice, it's not like somebody is forcing you or putting you in a corner. It's like you have the choice to embrace it or let it go. You have the choice to hold on to it or release it. It's nobody's not putting, nobody's not putting you in an uncompromising position. It's like you're choosing to put yourself in an uncompromising position. It, I am also seeing somebody taking some sort of break. This is a chance to, somebody's gonna start practicing more serenity into their life. This could be more yoga, just taking just like a more of a social media break. And it's really more about kind of plant, like it's kind of just taking a step back and reevaluating things. And a decision is going to be made. Because this, this is something that this is creating. Because I feel like there's going to be some sort of possible collaboration. But somebody stands on the top. And there's going to be a choice. Because it's going to be a choice that's going to be made. Now, with the Nine of Pentacles here. The Nine of Pentacles... This is somebody standing tall and proud. This is Virgo energy. This is somebody doing very well independently, financially, emotionally, spiritually. This person has it together. These two people have it together. I'm seeing somebody single doing very well. These are two, it's like a man and a woman and they're single and they're doing very well or they're just very, or if they're in a partnership of some kind, they're very independent. And this could be with Ela, with her, you know, with the Teddy Fresh, you know, coming up with more uh, clothing, you know, just more inspirations with the clothing line. There's a lot of peace signs here. So somebody is, is, somebody's more at peace with themselves. They seem a lot more calmer. They seem more centered. It feels like um, things are a little bit more clear and they're able to, like they have like less cluttered thoughts. It's hard to kind of describe it. It feels like with like the vlog squad gang, they're going to kind of scurry off and the, it, it, there's going to be some sort of offer that's going to be made. They're not going to take the offer because it's a, it's, it's a shit deal. It's honestly a shit deal. They're much better off being independently on their own. They make much better on their own and, um, they don't have to rely on it, a certain individual. And I think they're gonna collectively make a choice to let go. And they're gonna realize that they're gonna do well financially, independently on their own. 
the five of swords, there's going to be more than one person. So there's going to be two or more people where there's no coming back from this. They cut ties. Someone said something or did something that they can't take back. The Ace of Cups reverse, followed by the Empress card here, okay? This is a falling out of a friendship. I'm seeing a falling out of a friendship. It could be love, but I'm not really picking up on that. I'm sensing more of a bit business friendship collaboration it could be with the vlog squad. It could be with H3H3 and Trisha. It could be that. But as someone is thriving, being independent, it feels like multiple people are thriving, being independent. It feels like they're going to start, more people are going to start sharing their stories. And there's going to be ending of a friendship, of a connection. And it's with the Empress card because this is about personal growth. This is about recognizing who you are as a person and realizing, you know what? I don't need to pull all these stunts for views. I don't need to pull all these. I don't need to be a stunt queen <laughs> as, um, oh God, uh, as uh, Miss Luscious, right? Uh, you know, you don't have to be, all, you don't have to be like a stunt queen just to get some a, a positive attention or recognition or notoriety, you know? You don't need to pull all these stunts just for some breadcrumbs. Yeah, I do see somebody is trying to make some sort of peace offering. I do feel like they do have good intentions, but I do feel like the peace offering that they give, it is honestly like a slap in the face. And other, and they're just, people are going to split apart. They're going to do things independently. People are going to be butt hurt. More than one person is going to be butt hurt. This is going to be a falling out of a friendship. I do feel like part of it has to do with a woman because of the Empress card here. It could be Trisha. It does not necessarily have to be Trisha. But there is a woman influence that is why the friendship fall apart. And I do feel like secrets are going to be told. And it would not surprise me if there's some sort of gag order or cease or desist or defamation lawsuit. But yeah, that is the reading that I have for H3H3 Productions, Trisha Paytas slash Vlog Squad Drama. So if that resonated, make sure to comment down below. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Please be safe and wash your damn hands. And nanu nanu.